Uh, many people ask me, Nikita, uh, will we will, will be we 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 will be we 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 will be we will we will we the blin. We will be we. Я нормальный, я абсолютно нормальный. I'm totally fine. Thank you very much. Hello friends, my name is Red7. An official stream took place yesterday with the boss Nikita and his companion Damirka as hosts. In it Nikita talked about the current situation of the game, about some future or immediate plans. Some leaks have been shown, which you can see on the background during this video. And he also answered some questions. Now in the background you see some beautiful concept arts of the map called Streets of Tarkov. A map that will be coming this year according to Nikita, a map very complex and very big with a lot of building and looting possibilities, several scav bosses and different scavs, unique loot and extraction mechanics and a lot more. Nikita didn't mention the release, he only stated that the devs are full at work preparing this map. In my opinion it will still take many months to see it released. If you remember the previous podcasts and streams Nikita stated that the devs plan to release patches more often from now on and that it is possible that before Streets of Tarkov we may see a different map which is not hard to design according to Nikita, Lighthouse. We shall see if the plans changed or not but I am sure that this is a long term project as well so regarding new maps we will have to be patient. Immediate plans, Nikita mentioned two important things. First, a new patch aimed to improve the game and fix mechanics and features, which will be released this next week. And second, another following patch, which will have fixes, but also a lot of content, like weapons, new clothing, probably two new skills, hideout management and crafting, and also what could be a game-changing feature, the overweight system which in Nikita's opinion will have a huge impact on the player. Now we shall see how this one will work. The majority of the community is waiting for a realistic weight system which will prevent and stop some of the unrealistic behaviors we currently see in the game. Fully geared jumping down from cliffs and not dying and being able to immediately shoot other players. Players carrying hundreds of kilos in their backpacks. Call of Duty and Counter-Strike bunny hoppers trying to get intel on your position and or avoid being shot at and a lot more. I want to remind the community that EFT stands for realism and hardcore and what you sometimes see out there has nothing to do with hardcore and reality. Do you imagine a real soldier doing something like that? I don't. When this second patch or content patch is going to be released, Nikita didn't mention but probably one or two weeks after the fixes one in my opinion. Or maybe three, one month, hmm. Soon, soonish. No, don't put in grenade launchers for noobs. Guys, uh, some of the players still think that grenade launchers in the game will be like the grenade launchers in any other game, like Call of Duty or something. It will not be like this, guys. Like the grenade launchers, uh, under better grenade launch, it will be terrible. It will be like more serious stuff. It will be not like and everybody's like dead behind this bush. Actually, it will be kind of this way. During the stream, Nikita answered some questions the guys collected on several social media platforms and Reddit. Questions about Steam audio, server issues and performance improvements, addition of servers, voice over IP, which I am going to mention in a moment because it's impressive what's happening with VoIP right now, and some other bits and bobs. Nothing extremely important though, we still have no idea when Steam audio is going to be released, we only know that the devs just now started to work with Steam to gather information about the implementation of Steam audio into the game and that this procedure is very complicated and not easy to implement. So the devs have other priorities right now and the community needs to wait until better sound, which is vital in my opinion, is going to be implemented. New servers are constantly being added and old ones are being updated or upgraded. The devs do some research to find out which servers are being overloaded and then add servers or upgrade them in those particular world zones. 
The ray duration change is temporary as they mentioned before and it will be increased as soon as the servers will manage to keep up with this new growing player base. When this will happen? Probably in several weeks, Nikita mentioned. Let's talk a bit about VoIP. Long time ago Nikita talked about this extremely important feature and said that it will be implemented in a professional way with several layers, something similar to squad, with clothes, team and squad comps, now apparently Nikita does not want to add it anymore. He is afraid that the players will spam music and talk trash or abuse the general audio channel and this will break the immersion. I will do a special video about VoIP and emphasize the importance of this feature. Sometimes VoIP is extremely important. I would have survived a lot more with having VoIP. I would have helped a lot more with VoIP. I would have teamed up against Raiders a lot more with VoIP. And I am sure the majority of you out there as well. VoIP is extremely important for rookies, for scav players and the in-game comps are sometimes very stupid and will never fit or replace the human factor. The human real voice you hear behind you. Hey man, I'm behind you, I won't shoot, let's team up. Do you need some meds? Did you lose some limbs? Should I drop you my survival kit? Those random in-game comms are in such situations very neutral, don't have the human factor behind and will not help. Hearing someone's real voice provides trust and encourage you or encourage one to participate and socialize. It's a pity Nikita changed his mind. I remember the podcast with Smoke when Nikita was that serious about this. Such a shame for this. So many unique and original situations can occur with VoIP. Just look at DayZ. Yeah, I will be talking more about VoIP in a dedicated video. Some other things worth it to mention, the addition of the underbarrel grenade launcher very soon. The cultists have been mentioned again, but there is no release date for them. The shoreline scav boss will probably be introduced in this second content patch. Vaulting has been mentioned as well. Full loadouts presets are planned. A total overhaul of the skill system is in the works. Bipods and bipod deployment will be in the game with the coming of the LMGs. And I saved one of the most important topic or upcoming feature for last because this one will also be game changing. The addition of customizable plate carriers. Nikita talked about it and said that in the soon future you will be able to customize the plates the way you want with front plate and back plate. Some of them will have side plates or side protection, dead zones where you will be able to shoot through and kill or do more damage and different pouches, hooks and carabiners or chem lights. These new plates will in time replace the current vests and plate carriers but for now both will be available in the game. Interesting and cannot wait for this implementation, Nikita wants to be wants this to be as realistic as possible and to introduce it into the game as soon as possible. Yes, it will have bugs and problems, but it will be tweaked and improved in time. So these were the most important news I wanted to share with you. The next podcast will probably take place soon. And this time more famous streamers will be invited. There will be some leaks, I guess, and maybe some weapons or map reveals. Thank you for watching and don't forget to sub and to share this video. Also visit me on Twitch where I stream daily starting at 9.30 a.m. CET. Thanks to the community members, I have three EFT standard account keys to give away, so join me there. And who knows, maybe if you are lucky, you can win one. We also do daily giveaways with in-game items and we have set up two donation boxes for new players or players who have lost everything in the game and need a small help. Our community is very interactive and willing to help, so you will definitely find answers or a teammate if you join us. Patrons, thank you very much for the support. Remember real life as well, players, as it is very important. Talk to you in the next video. Peace. Ah, смотрите, guys, look, pretty interesting uh, and useful information from me. This baseball cap actually have a knuckle duster in here. Like this. So this is a kind of knuckle cluck, 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 cluck duster. You can punch in the face. By Fab 12 seconds так, later. Подождите секундочку, они сам, они to do a clarification. This is a plastic, plastic. plastic it, it's not like knuckle duster. It's like plastic thing, like to just to reinforce the, как называется это, cap, 
Cap Pep. Cap Pep is a sweet for Sorry, please, 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 please. I don't want to go in jail again.